Hey guys, it's Miss Smith here, and today this video is going to be going over how to turn in stuff into Jupiter. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have Jupiter open. And again, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, student service as a class. Again, this video can pertain to whether you're doing biology, anatomy, whatever class it is that re is requiring you to turn stuff into Jupiter. Okay, so I'm going to click my class open. I'm going to click on the assignment that I know is due for the day. And so what you're going to do is you're going to find your file. You're going to find basically the assignment that you've been working on and turning it in that way. Okay. So if you are turning in a picture, right? You're going to go ahead and either decide to pick from, pick a picture from your computer. And when you do that, when you're clicking a picture from your computer, it's going to open up your files on your actual computer. OK, if you're doing this on your phone, same thing. It will show it should prompt you if you're doing this via phone version. I'm sorry, I don't have access to that. But if you are doing this from your phone, you should see a similar option to pick from your gallery or pick from your files, okay? And now, the most usable way though, however, to turn in your assignment is obviously going to be a link, okay? So most of the assignments, if you haven't already watched um, accessing assignments and making copies of assignments, I would highly suggest looking at that video. Okay, so let's say I went ahead and I made my own copy. And now I am ready to turn in my assignment. And I don't want to use, I don't want to do computer. I don't want to do Google Drive. I just want to share the link to my assignment. Okay, and the reason why I stress this is because when you turn in your assignment into Google Drive, via Google Drive, it's going to send the teacher a PDF. It's not going to send the actual Google Doc. So if I wanted to, you know, if I like commented back to you to tell you, hey, um, you need to fix this and this, right? It's not going to show up on the PDF version. So I would highly suggest not really using these options if you can avoid it. I would highly suggest using the new link. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click new link. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Drive. I'm going to go to where I put my file, where my assignment is. So I just did distance learning folder. And I'm going to click open my NGSS folder. And that's the assignment I want to go ahead and click. If you would like to um, watch a video on organizing your, um, your drive, I have a video for you. Just go ahead and check the link below in the description. Or go ahead and open up in the agenda. It'll be there either way. All right. I've gone ahead and I've picked my assignment. Now, how do I link it? Okay, so if you look in the upper right hand corner, you should see a button that says share. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click that share button. And this should prompt to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click get a shareable link. I'm going to click that open. Okay. Notice how it says anybody with this link can view it. Now, I won't be able to, you know, I won't be able to, to edit anything. You're just sharing it with me. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that link. All right. Once I have that link, once I've hit that button, I can go back to Jupyter. I'm going to paste into this empty space. I'm going to click OK. And that's it. That is how you turn it in. And make sure you hit the Done button. And that's all. 
Now, let's say an assignment requires you to turn in more than one thing, so more than just one thing. So, for example, maybe it's a critical reading and a picture of your results or something like that, depending on what the assignment is. So you would just hit turn in another, and the same thing will prompt open for you, whether it's a file, picture, the link, etc. Okay? Again, I am highly stressing that you pick if you are sending anything via from Google Drive, right, from your Google, whether it's a Google Doc or Google Sheet, please send the link. Do not send a PDF. Please send the link. With that being said, please do not send me the assignment or any of your teachers the assignment via messages. Do not send the assignment via Gmail or, yeah, via Google email, okay? When I or any of your other teachers goes into our Jupyter file, right? And I don't see your name here, and I don't see your name with the star on it, that means nothing has been turned in. So I'm going to assume you haven't done it, okay? Even if you send me a message in Jupyter, okay? That's just too much of a hassle, all right? It's not going to prompt here in the actual assignment if you send it to me via a message. You need to upload the assignment to the correct to the correct assignment on your end. Okay? Do not send a do not send your assignment via message or Gmail or email. Okay? I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.